Alright, this is Met Many Places and we're going to be comparing the DJI Mavic with the DJI Spark. So the DJI Mavic, as you'll see, is a lot more compact. So everything fits in this carry case, which it, it actually comes with the case. And to fold it out. So it looks like they've done everything they've can to actually make it a lot smaller um, as far as being able to fit into this case. The handles actually come out so you can put those away. And here is the DJ Spark controller. So you can actually see they're, they're similar size. This one, the, the knobs don't come off. And the other biggest difference I found is the DJ Spark has the plug in the middle where on the Mavic Mini, it's off to the side, which makes it a lot easier to plug into your phone. We've got the Fly More. So one of the batteries is in the drone. And this is compared with the DJI Spark, the three battery. So you can see the difference. The, the batteries are totally different. So if you have the Spark, you're not going to be able to reuse the batteries. And um, the DJI Mavic actually has about twice the flight time. And these, let's see, yeah, I've got to chop these up. Okay, so back to the Mavic Mini. Uh, the plug for for the battery charger is actually the USB micro. So you just plug in, it comes with a wall charger as well. So you can plug that right into the wall or if you're driving somewhere and you've got the car adapter to plug in for the 12 volt, it works either way. And DJ Mavic Mini also comes with some of the, with the adapters. This is an extra set of Yep, here's the third one. I tucked it away because I don't use the lightning. So it comes with the USB mini to the lightning, to the USB-C, and to the USB micro to micro. And those fit from the side of the controller into the phone. And this is an extra set of the, um, the roto blades, just like the DJI Spark comes with the extra set of roto blades. So a few things if you're going with the Spark, a lot of times it just comes with one battery. So I put all of them on here, I'll just pop one out and that fits, just snaps right in there. If you only have one battery then you have to charge it through here, which is the USB micro and there's for the SD card. When you're going to fly the, the, sorry, the DJ Spark, you just, you got to pull out the roto blades. And for the, for the DJI Mavic Mini, if you look, the blades just kind of free flow like this. And I think they did this so that if you actually hit something, the blades don't break as much as um, the DJ Spark. And you don't want to know how I know that, but um, yeah, I've, <laughs> I've learned that. <laughs> and so it, it looks a little strange how the, the blades here just kind of flip around. You don't have to set them or anything before the flight. But um, yeah, there's there's a very good reason why they're like that. And if, if it clips something, it just, it just spins. It doesn't actually break like the uh, DJI Spark ones do. So that was another design change that I really liked with the Mavic Mini. So here you can see the size of the DJI Spark compared to the DJI Mavic Mini. Um, they are about the same size. The Spark's a, a bit heavier than the Mavic Mini. And the battery size is actually, as you can see from here, the battery size is a, is a lot bigger on the Spark. But for the Mavic Mini, you actually get almost twice the flight time. 
So they made a very big improvement either with the battery technology or the ability to fly the drone a lot longer. So this is all the accessories for the DJI Mavic Mini, the fly more with the three batteries and they had one, the combo with the three batteries for the Spark as well. When you go to put everything away, you'll really start noticing how compact everything goes with the Mavic Mini. So keep this in mind as well if you travel uh, a lot and you want, to, um, you want to take all the gear with you, this folds up. The other feature that I really liked is you actually have a gimbal protector for the Mavic Mini. So you can just take that off for flying and then it just snaps in. So that just keeps the gimbal um, protected in that. And so this goes in like here, just watch the blades when you're putting them away. Just keep them so they're on the inside. And here's the three. That's a three battery charger. You can easily fit all the extra cables and cords on top. And then the controller, just pop these off. Sometimes I don't take the, the knobs off if I know I'm gonna fly a lot in a day or something, but if I was traveling, if I was going on a airplane somewhere and I wanted this compact, then there you go. So there's the, the DJI Spark Mavic Mini Go Fly Combo. Go Fly Combo. Um, very compact, very good. So DJ Spark, so this was our first, it was like a basic drone. It's like an entry level drone, oh, similar, I mean the Mavic Mini is set to be an entry level drone as well, so that's why it's a good comparison. These, you have to fold the blades, and you also have to unfold the blades every time when you're going to fly, so that's a big difference. There's no gimbal protector, so be really careful because a lot of people have problems with the uh, gimbal. You'll start getting um, gimbal errors and things like that if you're messing around with it too much. And even if when you're flying, you've got the gimbal um, control, if you're overextending it, I don't think the, the motor actually stops with the gimbal, so you can actually like wear out the, the motor and you'll get a, a gimbal error and it just won't work very well. Um, after that. So that's another kind of design issue with the DJI Spark. When you put the controller away, once again the knobs don't come off. They didn't put, there's not really a spot for it there. This is a bag you get with the, the uh, three battery. And I'll just, you can put these batteries away in there. I'm just going to put it all away because that's the way it fits the best, otherwise I can't get everything in there. So with the Go Fly combo with the DJI Spark, which is that has the three batteries, um, this is the case that the three batteries and the charger goes in, and then this is the DJI Spark. So you'll have two bags when you're traveling with the DJI Spark. With the DJI Mavic Mini, you've just got the one case and the battery chargers over there because I'm actually charging it. So here's the three charger for the DJI Spark. And the one thing that I like about the DJI Spark charger is all three batteries will actually charge at the same time. And that's because this gets plugged into the wall it does have a USB micro plug attachment here, so you can charge it on the go, um, but that does affect the, the charging time quite a bit, if I can get that open. So that's a USB micro charging cable. Off to the side, this one only has the USB micro charging cable, and it'll only charge one of the DJI Mavic mini batteries at a time. Um, and then it goes to the next one. Even having that said, I've had the Mavic Mini batteries charge almost as quickly as the Spark ones. So um, it'll still take you a few hours to get all of them charged up. Um, with the Mavic Mini, it'll start with one. As soon as that's done, I'll pop that into the, into the drone and then I'll start charging the other ones. Whereas with the Spark, all three of them will go and the 
If they were all drained to a similar amount, they'll all finish just about the same time. So just another thing to keep in mind. Uh, we'll get into the flying really soon.